Welcome back everyone, thanks for joining me. I wanna be able to share with you two ways that you can remove someone's name from a mortgage. And there are a couple of reasons why you might wanna do that. One, um, you could have, um, you could be going through a divorce and you have an ex-spouse and you wanna stay in the home and you wanna get the other person off, off of the mortgage, maybe because, uh, because the court is ordering you to do that. That's, that could be one reason. Uh, two, you may have purchased a home with someone else and now you want to go your separate ways and it's not a divorce situation. Uh, could be that uh, you have a co-signer and that's really quite often very common. Someone co-signs a mortgage, helps you to get the home and you know now you're in a better financial situation a year or two later and they want to get their, their name off of your mortgage because they want to go get one of their own. So that's another reason why you might want to do this. So. There are really two ways to make this happen. And the first one is the most common and the second one is not so common, which I'll get to next. The first one is, uh, it's simple, you'd have to refinance. So when you refinance the home or the mortgage, you're gonna refinance it only in your name. And when that loan closes, the prior loan gets paid off and therefore that other loan where both of you were on that mortgage is no longer in existence so it's not really, I suppose, getting the person's name off of the mortgage. It's, re it's getting rid of the mortgage where the other person has their name attached to it. And you're going to have a new one it just in your name. So that's the most common way to accomplish it. Uh, the other way to potentially do it is, um, is if, you're, if you're a lender that currently has this mortgage will allow you to assume the entire loan yourself. This is not very common. Uh, not many people know to even ask, but you could ask the questions. Not all of these loans are assumable, but you might be able, they might run you through a very short qualification process where they look at your income and your, asset, your assets and they determine whether you are able to qualify on your own for this without the other co-borrower, okay? And if that's the case, they might make an adjustment on, on and removing the other person's name from the mortgage. Um, VA loans are assumable, for example, uh, but it's again, like I said, it's not common, but it's definitely worth asking your current uh, mortgage company who's got your mortgage right now, whether, the, whether there's anything they can do to make that happen. That way you don't have to go through a full refinance process. If, if that doesn't work and you need to refinance, just, just let us know. We'll be able to help you to get this done quickly to remove the other person's name from your mortgage. Uh, depending on how much equity you have in the property, it could get tricky. So there, you might need a various different mortgage options to make that happen. But basically, uh, like I said, if you want to remove someone's name from the mortgage or a co-borrower or a co-signer's name from the mortgage, you're likely looking at refinancing. Hopefully this answers your question. If you need anything else, just let us know. Maybe the comments down below. Thank you for watching.